Okay, <clears throat> what you can see in front of you is an equilibrium mixture of iron, 3 plus ions, so um, thiocyanate ions in um, making an iron thiocyanate complex. Now, the colours of all these compounds on their own, Fe3 plus is yellow, um, thiocyanate is colourless, but the complex they make is blood red. So if we get a shift to the left, the colour will go lighter. If we get a shift to the right, it will become like more red or darker. Um, one of these will act as a control. The first test I'm going to do is I'm going to add some iron, nit iron 3 nitrate. So in effect, I'm adding Fe3+. What you can see happen there is the colour has gone distinctly darker. So that's resulted in an equilibrium shift to the right to use up those extra Fe3 plus ions. The next test I'm going to do is to add some potassium thiocyanate. So you're adding thiocyanate ions. And again, you can see a distinct darker red colour appearing. So you get an equilibrium shift to the right to use up the extra thiocyanate ions. The third test I'm going to do is to add some sodium fluoride. Now, um, you should be able to see in your notes that the sodium fluoride decreases the amount of iron 3 plus ions because fluoride ions react with the iron 3 plus to form a complex. So in fact what we're doing is removing Fe3 plus ions. So if I add some sodium fluoride is that a bit of a soil? and it's gone completely colourless. So this is effectively a distinct shift to the left um, to replace um, the lost Fe3 plus ions that have been removed. The next one I'm going to be doing is to add some silver nitrate um, as you can see in your silver nitrate, this decreases the amount of thiocyanate because the silver ions react with thiocyanate ions to form a white precipitate of silver thiocyanate. So let's give it a go with that one. So if we remove the thiocyanate ions, so, and again, it's gone completely colour, so like a tinge of yellow in there, but there's a distinct shift to the left. Okay. The next test we're going to be doing is adding water um, to dilute the system. Now this will um, decrease the concentration of all species. So if I bring in this one, but um, what we've got this one is what would happen, like if you dilute something, the colour itself gets diluted regardless of any equilibrium shift. So for example, if you diluted cordial, the colour is lighter because the pigment colours are spread further apart. So part of this test is we've got just Fe3 plus by itself, which is yellow. And um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to, there's the yellow, and if I add some water to the yellow, give that a bit of a swirl, effectively it's just slightly lighter yellow. So all we've done is this is not in equilibrium, it's just iron 3 nitrate on its own. I've just diluted it so the colour itself becomes lighter. But if I bring back the equilibrium system and <clears throat>
to one of these I'm going to add an equal amount of um, water. Now, effectively, the um, colour has um, almost completely disappeared. In fact, if I have a bit more water, where I add the water, it's gone almost completely colourless. Um, I, this is more than just diluting the colour. There has been an equilibrium shift, in this case to the left, in order to increase the concentration of all species. So it will favour the reaction that produces more particles. The next video will look at the effect of heat. So the next video will look at parts F and G.